All right, guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a drugstore high-end mashup. Get ready with me. I went to um, Walmart, picked up a few new drugstore items. So we've got new drugstore, old drugstore, new high-end, and old high-end. Just kind of like a mix of everything. It's a really big snow day today. What well, really big. It's really big for Tennessee. We literally get like two inches of snow everybody starts freaking out. So I created kind of like this winter fresh look, very simple, minimal, anybody can recreate it. And you guys have been saying you love the talk through, so we're doing another talk through today. Again, let me know, let me know how you like these. If you ever want me to go back to just doing voiceovers, I can totally do that. Uh, but this is the look. If you are not subscribed, make sure you do so and make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That's the best way I can get back to your questions if you have an immediate question for me. So I will leave my handle right here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, guys, coming at you today with a mixture of high-end and also drugstore. The reason I was inspired to do this is because I was at Walmart the other day and I picked up the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. I saw Elena Davison use this in a video recently and it looked really good on her. And spoiler alert, I used it the other day and it looked awesome. So that's what I'm going to use today. I've already moisturized my skin. I have used the Clinique Moisture Surge uh, Moisturizer. I'm actually just going to double up and use that as a primer, mainly because it makes my face feel really smooth and I just, I don't feel like I need a primer. So let's go ahead and go in with the foundation. Now I bought the wrong shade. Um, the first shade I got was 110 and it was like one of the lightest colors and I looked really, really pale. So I went back and I got um, 118 light beige. And I think this is going to be a perfect match for me. Um, I haven't used it yet, but just judging on um, the bottle and also pouring it out on my hand, looks like it's a pretty good match. So I'm going to apply this with um, my beauty blender. I was really shocked with this foundation because um, A, it's matte and generally I don't like matte foundations, and B, it's very seamless on the skin, um, almost undetectable. It's, it's actually very strange. I mean, do you see how lightweight it is? But it covers really well. It's got like a medium full coverage to it if you layer it up. So I was really impressed with this, and um, I don't know, when I saw it on Atlanta, I was like, yes, please, I am going to pick that up. It was only like six bucks, so um, very affordable. This color is like phenomenal. This is like the perfect match for my skin. I don't think I've ever had a drugstore foundation match me this good. I mean, literally, it's the perfect undertone. It's not pink like most drugstore foundations are, so I am digging it. For concealer, uh, if you remember my last video, I said I was going to go pick up the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind since none of my concealers match me right now. So that's exactly what I did. I got it in the shade Fair. And this is just like, if I could pick one drugstore product that I always go back to. I mean, there are very rare occasions that I will just say like, hey, I want to go to the drugstore and get a product. This is one of them. I have been using this for years and it just still to this day is honestly one of the best concealer formulas even compared to um, high end. So absolutely love it. Uh, I'm just going to apply that all over. Again, it's like the perfect color for my skin tone right now. I am like winning with these shade ranges from the drugstore. So I'm very shocked right now. Um, it's a snow day in Tennessee. Saturday and um, we have literally we've probably gotten maybe an inch of snow and everybody acts like it's a snow apocalypse if you live if you live anywhere in the south pretty much and you get snow um, people freak uh, Our like all of our grocery stores were out of milk and bread I went yesterday um, just to kind of get a few things just because I like to stock up in general not because it was snowing and I literally got the last pack of chicken there was no more chicken left um, like chicken breasts and uh, I'm just like good lord like this is this is gonna melt probably by tomorrow but people absolutely freak out and I know those of you who live in Michigan and Wisconsin you were like what a bunch of idiots we a school all of the schools were called off <laughs> um, and I know if you live you know up north 
you guys go to school in like five feet of snow so it's pretty hilarious doesn't this look good i mean i'm just like you know i you, you guys know i hate on a lot of drugstore products my channel has never been centrally focused around um drugstore products and i uh, it it really, every time I do a video, it really pains me to even buy them because I'll buy, you know, five things and I've already spent like 60 bucks. So um, this is actually a positive experience though. Um, this is looking good. I'm really digging this foundation. Like I said, I've been wearing it a few days. I just had the wrong color. Um, oh, I'm setting my face with um, a little bit of the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. This one is in the color uh, Warm Light number seven. And I'm just going to use it to warm up my face a little bit. For the under eyes, the usual, my Bare Minerals Hydrating Mineral Bell. And I'm going to set that with a Smashbox brush. I have no clue what it is. The Buildable Cheek Brush. Um, since it's snowing out right now, I'm getting wonderful, like, light glares. I barely have my ring light on right now, and I love it. I love when I can get some good natural light coming in. I'm going to take the doggos out after I'm done filming and um, let them play in the snow. They really love getting down there and just kind of like running circles in it. So look forward to that on Instagram stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram stories, my dogs are literally... 90% of my Instagram stories, uh, then the other 10% is me talking about like pop culture or Netflix shows, you know, just having a good time. Uh, to bronze, I'm going to take this bronzer, which I have not used in ages. It is the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer. Um, forever I wanted this and then I bought it and I hardly ever use it. I don't know why it's a nice bronzer, but I just never reach for it. Um, oh, it's kind of streaky on the side, isn't it? Do you guys always have that one side where your bronzer tends to streak more than the other? I feel like for me, it's always this side. I don't know why. For blush, I'll be using the Butter Blush, the uh, Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Vintage Rouge. This is kind of just like a natural pink color, um, not too overwhelming. You guys know recently I've been keeping it very light on the blushes. Um, oh god, these smell so good. I forgot. Oh, mm. Literally makes you feel like you are in the Bahamas. So I'm pretty matte right now. I definitely want to glow up my skin a bit. So ugh, I hate to reach for this, but I just saw it in my collection and I definitely have not given it the love that it deserves. Um, and it's from the MAC holiday collection from, gosh, I don't know if this was this past year or the year before. I think, it, I think this is from the year before. Um, but it's the Nutcracker Sweet Peach Compact and this highlighter in here is stunning and I hardly ever use it. I paid full price for this, which was hard to do because I get a pro discount with MAC, but most of their holiday collection, um, you they won't apply uh, your pro discount to. So paid full price for this and I just, oh, have not used it enough. All right, so Hourglass actually sent over um, a few of their new brow products. They sent their Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. They've actually had these for a few years, I know, because um, I got these from them a few years ago. But I think this is the new product. It's called the Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. This could not have come at a better time because, as you guys know, Benefit Gimme Brow is literally MIA. There's no telling when it's gonna come back. So, you know, I've gotta find a replacement for um, my brow gel. And it seems like they're trying to go with a Gimme Brow vibe for this. So I'm gonna use these today on my brows. I'm gonna skim through it pretty fast so I don't take up the entire video. And let's do it. All 
Okay, so I actually quite like the way my brows turned out. That is a perfect color for my brows. If you're wondering, the shade I use was Soft Brunette in the pencil. Now, they sent me a few shades in the um, Volumizing Fiber Gel. They sent Soft Brown, Warm Blonde, and the Clear. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the Soft Brown because uh, I looked at these off camera and it seemed like this one uh, probably will match me the best. And let's see how this does. It's got an interesting wand on it. Do you guys see that? How it kind of like pedals out at the end? Hmm. I'm not sure I love what that did to my brows. I kind of got a clump up front, but I think that was my fault. So let's try it again on the other side. Um, so I used this side that's kind of tailored up a little bit more, and that was definitely more user friendly. And then I turned it around and I used the straight side, and that's when I got the clumping. So um, maybe I should just stick to using this little, you know, this little raised side. Okay, pretty interesting. The color selection was amazing. I mean, this matches my brows perfectly. Um, I feel like I will have to get used to that wand on the fiber gel because if you use the ray side, you don't really get enough product, but then if you flip it around and use the straight side, it's kind of too much product. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to play with that a little bit more. Okay, so I had some people ask if I could use the Persona Cosmetics palette a little bit more, and I agree. I have not shown this much love since I got it. It came out over a year ago. So I'm gonna use that today. We're probably gonna do a pretty subtle look um, just because I have a particular lip color I wanna wear, and I feel like it's nice and dainty, and I don't wanna overdo the eyes. So I'm gonna take Humble, uh, which is the matte kind of peach shade in here. And I'm just gonna brush that all over my lids for a base shade. I'm gonna take a MAC 217 and I'm gonna pick up Charming, which is this light warm brown color. And I'm gonna work that back and forth in my crease really softly. Okay, so as you can tell, I've kind of cut out my crease a little bit more defined than what I normally would, and I've left this space here blank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, Sassy, which is the shimmery kind of white pale champagne color. I'm gonna pick that up on a MAC 242 brush, and I'm just gonna fill in um, the space that I left blank here. Now I'm gonna take Fearless, which is this dark brown shade on a uh, Real Techniques brow brush. And I'm kind of just gonna use this as a shadow liner.
So this is pretty much all I'm gonna do with the eyes. Very clean, very simple. Uh, but I do wanna try this new mascara from Maybelline. This is the Total Temptation Mascara. Uh, I got mine in the shade uh, Brown Black or Black Brown, mainly because for my daily wear mascaras, I kind of like a little bit more of a brown tint. Uh, saw Alana Davidson use this as well and also Jamie Page Beauty. I think they did a collab together and I saw them both use this and I was like, okay, that makes their lashes look freaking awesome. So I'm going to try it. So one coat is looking pretty good. Um, it's not clumpy. It's hard for me to judge. I try not to be too judgy on mascaras because my eyelashes suck and there's really not much you can do with them. So, um, so far so good. The only thing I look for is clumping mainly and there has not been any clumping. I'm gonna pop a little bit of this sassy color on my inner corner. All right, so mascara, you know, again, I try not to be too judgy. It didn't really blow me away. Uh, right now, the one that I'm really liking is the It Cosmetics Superhero. This is one I've used in the past and it seems to work well with my lashes. I find that when mascaras volumize my lashes, they end up looking better as opposed to lengthening because when I get that length in there, my lashes just are not long and it just kind of makes them look, I don't know, prickly. Okay, so this could quite possibly be what I'm most excited for. As I was picking up the Maybelline Mascara and Foundation, I also saw right beside my favorite Maybelline Baby Lips color. So my favorite Maybelline Baby Lips color, this is the Maybelline Baby Lips Color Balm, but my favorite color is this Toasted Taupe color. I use it like almost every single day, but I saw right beside it, there was a shade called Blush Burst. And I have not seen this in my stores. Normally it goes from the nude all the way up to kind of like a bright coral color. So when I saw that, I really was um, anxious to try it because I just love the formula of these. So I'm gonna pair it with my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. And then we're gonna pop this on the top and see how gorgeous it is. I just, I have a feeling it's gonna be so, so pretty. Okay, I'm freaking obsessed with this color. <sighs> okay, more obsessed than what I thought I was gonna be. I am not normally a fan of pinks, but I don't know what Maybelline has done with this formula. Oh, it is so pretty, so comfortable. Mm, I love me like. All right, guys, so this is the final look. Let me know if you enjoyed the drugstore high-end mashup videos. I really had a great time using this. I feel like I found a couple of new drugstore staples. That foundation is really nice. This baby lips and blush bursts, oh my gosh, super pretty. I absolutely love these. These are like one of my favorite drugstore lip products. Um, so let me know if you enjoyed the look. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.